Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition. Today's video is gonna be your November general reading. I can't believe that we're in November already. I feel like October has just been flying by. Um, so anyways, you guys, this is gonna be your general reading for the month of, uh, I almost said October, for the month of November uh, for all my Cancer signs out there, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you all so much for all your support. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, leaving sweet comments, all that good stuff. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Those of you that are new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Jacqueline, and thank you for being here. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November. I was hearing legend when I was pre uh, pre shuffling. Legend, legendary. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. Nice, beautiful way to start the reading. We've got temperance here. Major Arcana could also be dealing with the Sagittarius. Beautiful energy, Sag or Sagittarius. Temperance talks about um, balance. I know this is the end of my channel, but I'm hearing universal intuition. I'm hearing that you're getting a lot of um, intuitive messages, a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities as well are happening for you guys. Um, you're seeing a lot of beauty in your life. Um, things are really changing for you. Someone's really into gold or the color gold or yellow or something like that. I'm really picking that up for someone here. Um, but temperance is all about that, the ebb and flow, the good energy, the balance of up and down. Scales almost in a sense. Could also be dealing with a Libra. Even though there's no scales here, I'm really picking up that energy for some reason. Um, but, the, but temperance is all about spiritual help as well, about... Um, also timing that really right now, right now in this month of November, or even when you're watching this video, like things are happening for you now. And I'm, I'm also hearing finally, like they're finally happening, happening for you. Cancer, this is really, really, really good way to start the reading. I also got some wine right before y'all's reading. So cheers. I feel like there's going to be a reason to celebrate. All right, guys, we've got three other cards that fell out here. We've got the two of swords in reverse, decision to make. You've got the emperor in reverse, could be dealing with an Aries. And the seven of swords, all right. A lot of air energy here with the swords and again with the emperor could be dealing with an aries or someone with a lot of fire in their chart what i'm seeing here cancer is that you are seeing the truth about something there's with the two of swords being in the reverse and the upright it's about not sure what decision to make not sure which way to go because there's something that you can't see i'm seeing it here as the two of swords in reverse is that you are making a decision or you've come to a decision there's something that you are now seeing clearly, and that's why your energy is temperance. You're feeling balanced. You're feeling wholesome. You feel like a lot of the negativity is being cleared out for you. And the emperor in reverse, I feel like for a lot of you, this is about work or about an authority figure. It could be a parent or a grandparent even too, something like that for some of you. Um, but with the emperor here, it could be someone that is has been a little overbearing in your life is what I'm seeing. They've been very opinionated, um, very kind of sassy towards you as well in a way. But Cancer, you guys are making a decision to really walk away from them, walk away from the situation. And why? Because they're acting sneaky. Someone's had some very sneaky and suspicious energy uh, in your 
in your immediate surroundings cancer and it's time with temperance with this falling under the temperance card it's like it's time to move on it's time to really make a decision which you are or you will be coming to this decision soon here in the month of november and i see a lot of you oh i got some major ring in my ear on the left side major um Ooh, guardian angel energy for sure. Um, your guardian. This could temperance could also for some of you. Um, usually it's the Knight of Pentacles is your guardian angel in the tarot, but um, I'm just really hearing for some of you like your guardian is with you and they're supporting you and they are. I mean they're always with you, but their their presence is very strong right now. There's been a lot of major shifts going on with the energies and Cancer. I know you guys feel that. I I mean you're very very intuitive and you feel a lot you feel a lot of emotion cancer but you are coming out of this um you're coming out of this kind of sneaky difficult time um with someone else with someone who has been trying to act mature someone who's trying to been been trying to almost put on a front i'm seeing here with this card in reverse with the emperor in reverse that they they're pretending to be like the strong one. They're pretending to be this authority figure or maybe they are, but it's like, it's kind of like an illusion. It's like, it's kind of, that's not who they really are. And I'm, it's kind of like, maybe you have like a manager, for example, like maybe there's like a manager at your work or, or the boss or something like that. And it's like, I never wanted to be here in the first place or they were kind of put in this position because there was no other option. And they've been really unhappy and they've really taken that out on you or you've been the the person that they talk to or you for some of you this could be your partner or someone in your family too that has just been very um oh, I keep hearing overbearing they're they're overbearing in their ways their sneaky ways of being mischievous and kind of being two-faced in a sense of well is as well as going to be um it's done it's coming, it's coming, that's coming to an end. Because you're looking beautiful, Cancer. You, you're temperance right now. You're, you're balanced. You've got this golden triangle on your chest. It's all about spirit. It's all about you and spirit. It's all about your connection with spirit and, and you making decisions to move forward with your life and not being caught up in how other people are making you feel. Let's see what other messages we have. And you're over, you're over the sneakiness. You're over, and, and you know, this could go either way. This could either be the Seven of Swords. Um, this could either be you or the other person is what I'm, I'm really feeling like. It's like, you're just tired. You're just tired of that. One of my favorite cards, Ace of Pentacles, Cancer, Ace of Pentacles, blessings, new beginnings, new job, new direction, something like that's coming and you've been thinking about it. That's the decision that you're going to make. Emperor, authority figure, work, boss, something like that. For a small sum of you, this is about your family, but I feel like this is a very career based, a very career based reading for most of you. You're tired of the lies. You're tired of the sneak, the sneaky sneak. You're over it. You're like, I've been meditating. I've been, some of you are really into crystals right now. And you, you've been doing whatever it takes to get you into a good place. Cause it's been a little bit rough this year. I'm not gonna lie, Cancer. It's been a little. It's been a little tough. It's been a tough road these last couple of months or so. But look what we have here: Ace of Pentacles. Again, new beginnings, new blessings. Um, and this doesn't have to just be money. Like a new. It could be a new job. I'm seeing for a lot of you guys, or a shift in direction. Maybe you're changing from one team to another, or like a, one department to another, or something like. Maybe you've been on the sales floor and now you're going to the admin team or vice versa. Maybe you're like, I'm tired of being in the office and I want to see people and talk to people. And now you're going to go into something where you, you know, maybe it's more, um, more social, more interactive, you know, you guys are very, <clears throat> are very good with people. Um, so that's, 
that's something I'm picking up as well. Ace of Pentacles is also just about new blessings overall with like earthly possessions. It could be some of you are, you know, maybe you've applied for a loan, you're going to get that, or you're going back to school and you're going to find out that you got into the school that you wanted to get into, or, you know, it could be something like that too. It doesn't have to mean like, oh, money, 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 which yes, we all, we all want that, but this is so much more than just that. Like this is just, <clears throat> excuse me, this is like on the next level. Cancer, this is really beautiful. You're making a decision because this is falling under the two of swords here. Like whatever you couldn't see about this person or this situation, you know, that was very troublesome, very sneaky. You see it now. There's been some kind of truth here. And that's really balanced out your energy to bring in blessings, to bring in beauty, to bring in abundance, success. Whatever you're truly going after is going to be successful. Cancer, this is lovely. What other messages do we have for Cancer? I feel like the situation that you are going to be leaving, whether it's a person or a job or whatever the situation is, it's like they're going to really miss you because you've, you've been such an asset. You've been, or you've been just so dependable. You've been really good at whatever this is, this job or this, um, you know, maybe you've had this person, this emperor in the past has been a really good teammate or someone to have on your side. It could be a family member that you've been close to in the past and it's just like man you've really changed and not for the good but for again a, a lot of you i'm picking up career job um opportunity that sort of thing trust in trust in your intuition trust in your gut trust in the universe trust that you're being guided and it's okay to let go. I feel like for a lot of you, if this is your, if you're starting a new business and you've been hesitant to um, really take that next leap to where like maybe you work your day job, but you also work like you've been seeing successes come in. Um, you've been seeing like little fruits of your labor happen, but it's just been like little bits. I feel like in November, it's just going to be like, boom, like overflow. Like it's here and you're going to be able to really walk away you're going to be really able to walk away from that day job or the job that you were just there because it was a paycheck because we all have responsibilities we all have bills right and that's what you were deciding on for a lot of you that's what you've been deciding on and this card is in reverse you are making a decision this month cancer you're doing it it's like you're get, you're putting in your two weeks or maybe you go down to part time so that you can put more attention towards your um, towards the job of your dreams, the career of your dreams. It doesn't even feel like work because it's something that makes you happy, right? Do we have any other messages for Cancer? All right, last one: Two of Pentacles. Very nice, very nice, Cancer. Two of Pentacles. So a lot of Earth energy, a lot of Pentacles to wrap up your reading here. So I do feel like there is still a little bit of hesitation. You have two twos. Um, you've really, with the Two of Swords, the difference here is with the Two of Swords in reverse and with the air energy, it's like you've already made it made up in your mind what you want to do. But now it's like, okay, how do I make this shift into the 3D world? How do I make this work for me? where I can still pay my bills, but where I can still have enough time for this. Don't forget what the first card was. It's time. Now is the time. Look how beautiful this, this energy is. This is what you have supporting you, universal support. You know that it's time. It's the perfect time. I feel like in November, you're really going to, for a lot of you, you're either going to put in your two weeks and you're going to make the big leap. You're going to make the big jump. 
you're juggling the idea still just a little bit. It's still there because you're trying to be responsible. You're trying to go about this in the best way possible, right, Cancer? You're not just gonna like quit your job without a backup. It's not that, it's, cause it's not just that you're quitting your job. It's that you're leaving somewhere that's toxic, that stresses you out, people that are up to no good, people who are overbearing, and that's too much. You're a water sign. That's too much. That's too much for cancer. It's way, that's way, that's way too much um, fire energy for cancer. It's way too much, right? You're just trying to be sensible about it. You're trying to make sense of it all. But if you take anything away from this reading, this is what I want you to see and remember. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your talents. Trust in the universe. Trust in your spirit guides and your angels. Trust. They're here for you. I feel it big time. Cancer, this is so great. This is like, this is almost like this whole thing. This whole thing is like the full card almost. It's like you're taking a big leap of faith here. And you don't know if you're going to land on your feet or not. You're not sure yet. You're landing on your feet. You're going to land. But you have your own free will. And that's why the two of pentacles here is because you're going to be sensible, sensible about it. So maybe you don't put in your two weeks. Maybe for some of you, I feel like you're going to go down from full-time down to part-time or something. You're only going to work a couple days a week so that you can open up the rest of your time to do you. To work on you, to work on your dreams, to bring it, to bring in what you're really shooting for. You're very creative, very, very creative, Cancer. All right. Number 21, I was going to say a lot of y'all's third eye is opening up and two and one is three. You're seeing a lot of threes, three, three, three. Um, again, that is spiritual influence and spiritual support. Um, what did I say earlier with temperance? There's the triangle on the chest here. One, two, three. It's all about the three support. Um, I'm hearing a unique balance, unique balance. I don't know. All right, Cancer, this card says, choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. <laughs> oh, how, how appropriate. You always have a choice as to what you should do. This card is perfect for this reason. Yes, you do. You have your free will. You always have a choice. This is just a, um, a confirmation, you know? This is just a confirmation of what you're thinking or what you're trying to decide to do. Right, Cancer? I feel like you guys know what to do. You know you know it's there, and even if it doesn't happen fully in November, it's gonna happen by the end of the year. I, I, I see you guys really being successful because you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. You're starting to really see what the universe has to offer you, and you're gonna take it up. You're gonna take the universe up on their offer. But it's like you almost like don't believe it's real. You almost like it's like how like like I see you like really confused sometimes. You've been very confused in the past, but you've taken this blindfold off. There is something that you really are seeing clearly now. Maybe you're starting to see that the talents that you really have are amazing. Trust in yourself. Trust in your intuition. Trust in the universe. Choose love. Choose love for yourself. Right, Cancer? All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for being here with me. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the deck that I used. Please pardon me if I showed you guys this at the beginning. Um, but I use the Albano, Albano Weight Tarot deck. This is the front. This is the back of the box. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, like almost in every sign, 
Uh, people have been asking me what deck I use, and that is the deck I use. Um, I'm sure you can find it online. Um, so yeah, I, I got it when I lived in Los Angeles. I live in Texas, um, back home now. So anyways, thank you all again so much for being here. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm sending you all my love, Cancer, and I'll see you in the next one.